I would like to welcome to the studio Nanefua Ashan. Thank you for coming today. Thank you for the opportunity of being here today. You're the president and CEO of the Future Entrepreneurs Foundation in Florence. Yes. If you would introduce yourself to our audience. Yes, I am, as stated, the president of the Future Entrepreneurs Foundation. We work with their students within our school district, which is Florence School District. Um, we focus more so on entrepreneurship with our youth and pro- helping them with their business plans, mentorship, and getting them to focus on, after high school, what is the next step? Um, we would like to continue um, working with our students and the community because understanding is a partnership. Um, I still stand by um, the cliche that says that it takes a village to raise a child. And I absolutely believe that is imperative for all of us to reach out to a child in any way, rather be a mentor, um, rather be um, if you, you have the um, gift of speaking, public speaking, to come into the classroom and speak to the students. And that's how they get empowered and how they're able to receive what they need to work on their business plans or prepare for the future. Sometimes it takes someone that's already um, in the business to um, reach out to students and be able to say, if I make if I made it, you can make it too. Right. So right. that's what we do. Okay. And you recently received your master's degree in social work from yes. the um, University, University of South, South Carolina. Carolina. Yes, thank you. Congratulations on that. Tell a little a bit about your journey to where, how you got to where you are today. Yes, um, I would say I've always had a passion of working with youth. Um, I was a volunteer court-appointed special advocate for children. Um, we work with the children that's been physically abused and neglected. Um, I've worked with children that had um, behavioral issues, and I was a behavior interventionalist for children. Um, so it's always had a passion of what can I do to help the youth understand that they're our next generation. So it's always, I've always just had um, what giftings do I have that I can contribute to a child? And so that's what led me into seeing, well, I I, th- I would want to go into the field of social work. There's so much you can do within that field. And I received my master's degree from USC, as stated. And um, ever since then, I was like, well, I want to just take it a little bit step further. Instead of working with an uh, agency and being employed by an agency, I... I understood that I had entrepreneurship giftings within me to start my own business. So when I recognized my gift, I was able to go into the schools and contribute what I have learned or what I can contribute to the learning of our youth. Okay. And so that's kind of like um, the the recipe for your success, starting out at a young age. And, you know, if you don't mind, you are awfully young yourself, so it's kind of hard to hear you thank talking you. about I young people. I am 40 people. years old, yes. <laughs> don't look a yes, day I thank over God. 21. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> so your organization, the Future Entrepreneurs Foundation, yes. is also having uh, the Igniting Innovation Gala. Yes. And that's coming up in September you're looking for sponsors for that. You're actually yes. bringing the uh, international motivational speaker and author Christopher Gardner. Yes. And that's going to be a great night for, to hear from him because he is a motivational speaker, the one whose story was portrayed in the Will Smith movie, uh, yes. Pursuit of Happiness. So how did that all come about for you? I wanted, when I looked at who can be our speaker for the event and and more so looked at our mission and how we work with youth, how we are able to encourage them, but not so much encouraging, looking for someone who had a story and has been through something. Because understanding that if any business you start, you're going to have setbacks, you're going to have obstacles, whether if you start on a small business or you grow to be a corporation, you've gone through something. Okay. And so... With looking at Christopher Gardner and what he's been through before he became a successful entrepreneur, he's um, been homeless. Um, he had to sleep on the in train stations with him and his son and understanding that anytime you're a single parent, that that is a, that is a trial that you have to to go through and, and uh, be able to. Uh, just be empowered and encouraged to continue on when you're homeless and you're single parent. So when we looked at how we can uh, still reach our the youth and encourage and empower them and 
and bring someone in that has gone through something but and able to encourage them. We looked at Christopher Gardner and what he's been through because he's the epitome of success, entrepreneurship. And if he did it, then you could do it, too. Absolutely. All right. So um, for anyone who would like to help sponsor this event um, or purchase tickets, what would they do? They can contact me. Our office phone is one 800 913 8261. Again, 1 800 913 8261. And before we let you go, inspire or encourage young people today who might want to follow in your footsteps, whether it be in social work or maybe even starting their own nonprofit. I would say don't be afraid to step out and talk to people. Sometimes people may have a fear of just gauging in general conversation or they may be a CEO or they may be um, they look at what well, this person is a more higher uh, level and uh, the corporation. Maybe I shouldn't step out. No, step out because you do not know that divine intervention, that that connection of why you met that person or why the people come across your path. So don't be introverted. Always step out. Always reach out. You don't have anything to lose. And don't be fearful. Nanefa Nishan. Yes. Always a pleasure. And you have an open door invitation to come back and share with us. All right. And uh, we're looking forward to your event coming up Friday, September 21st. Yes. Thank you very much. You were very excited. And thank you again for allowing me to be here.